Naoya, in a way, I know they have a power, but me too. Naoya and me fighting, that's very, very. Magandang araw mga kabusing at welcome back sa ating Muntin Channel. Casimero vs. Ogone, ito ang pinakamatunog na laban ngayon sa Japan kung saan apat na Pinoy naman ang naging undercard sa laban ni Casimero at ito nga si Napuroylan Salodar, Vince Paras, Gio Santisima at Arby Daniega. Na lahat naman ay pasok sa kanilang timbang kaya tuloy na tuloy na ang laban. Dito naman sa main event na si Casimero at Ogone, ay pariho naman ang dalawa na pasok sa kanilang weight limit kaya tuloy na tuloy na rin ang kanilang laban. Kung saan sinabi nga ni Casimero na gusto nito knockout ang kanyang panalo laban sa hapon. May kumakalat rin na gustong gulangan itong si Casimero sa kampo nitong si Ogoni tungkol sa gagamitin nitong glove sa laban. Makikita ang buong detalye sa YouTube channel ni Boss Ritz dun. Pinaliwanag nito kung ano ang nangyari. Dahil mayroong tatlong gloves na dinala itong kampo ni Ogoni at gusto nila na itong kulay itim, ang gagamitin ni Casimero sa laban pero hindi nga pumayag itong si Casimero dahil makapal itong itim kaysa dilaw na itong dilaw naman ay ang gagamitin itong si Ogone sa laban balak talagang dayain itong kampo ni Ogone itong si Casimero pero di nila ito magugulangan sa tagal ng lumalaban itong si Casimero ay alam na nito ang dekalidad ng mga gloves kung manipis ba ito o makapal kaya abangan na lang natin kung anong gloves ang gagamitin ni Casimero mamaya na sinabi pa nga nitong si Casimero na kung anong gloves ang gagamitin nitong si Ogoni sa laban ay yun rin ang kanyang gagamitin pero hindi nga pumayag ang kampo nitong hapon kaya bago ang kanilang laban ay atin munang silipin ang mga huling laban nitong si Ogoni at Casimero kung bakit yamadong yamado itong si Casimero sa laban hindi rin basta-bastang buksingero itong si Ogoni kung saan may Pinoy na rin itong tinalo at pinabagsak kung saan mayroon itong ring record sa ngayon na 21 wins 2 loses, 2 draws and 8 knockout Matangkad rin ito ni Casimero ng tatlong pulgada, isang orthodox at may edad sa ngayon na 35 years old. Naging inactive itong si Ogone ng dalawang taon, hindi ito napalaban sa taong 2020 at taong 2021, na kung saan sa taong 2022 naman ay isang bisis lang rin itong napalaban, kaya masasabi nating may kalawang na itong makakalaban ni Casimero. Paano nga ba naging kampiyon itong si Ogone sa IBF? Taong 2016 ay nakalaban nga nitong si Ogone ang undefeated knockout artist ng Dominican na si Jonathan Guzman Pena kung saan mayroon itong ring record na makaharap itong si Ogone na 22 wins and 22 knockout. Pero ang pagiging knockout artist nitong Dominican ay hindi nga umubra nitong hapon. Matapos maging kampiyon itong si Ogoni sa IBF ay sa unang dipinsangan nito ay hindi nga ito pinalad na manalo laban sa katunggalin itong si Ryusuke Iwasa na minsan na tumalo kay Marlon Tapales. Bumagsak nga itong si Ogoni sa kamay nitong si Iwasa na masasabi natin na sa kapanahon na kanyang kalakasan ano na kaya pag si Casimero na ang makatama nito baka round 2 ay tapos na ang laban. Eh, eh kagudo, mo wakatte masyo? Kami wasa ka? Hai. Hai. すげえ、ま、さん。赤コーナーサイド、奥にサイドの指示は、やはり自分のペースでという声が何度も聞こえますね。あとはしっかりと足を使ってタイミングを測っての、このカットインをよく見せろと、そういう指示です。今、右。背
両者の試合まさに高校時代からのライバル Kaya masasabi nating Yamado si Casimero sa paparating nitong laban kontra sa Hapon. Samantala naman itong si Janrel Casimero ay naging active nga ito sa boxing kung saan ang huling laban nito ay sa nakaraang May 13 ngayong taon. At bago pa man ay nakalaban muna nito ang isang Hapon na si Ryo Akaho kung saan kaawa-awa nga ang sinapit nitong Hapon sa kamay ni Casimero. Bumahag ang buntot matapos matikman ang lakas nitong ating kababayan. Ibay pa sa pader at knockout artist ang hinanap ni Casimero, isang kampiyon sa WBO na si Pilipos Ngito Mboa. Ito ang huling laban ni Casimero na ginanap sa Paradiaki City kung saan dito nga nasubukan ang katatagan nitong si Alas nang makalaban na nito ang knockout artist na si Pilipos Ngito Mboa na mayroon nga itong ring record na 12 wins, 1 loss and 11 knockout bago nito nakaharap si Casimero. Matangka nito at grabe rin ang mukha, este grabe rin ang tibay. Pero sa tibay nitong si Pilipos ay bumagsak pa rin ito sa kamay ni Casimero. At ito nga po ang naging highlight sa kanilang laban mga kabusing. Kung paano nagawang manalo ni Casimero sa matangkad. At grabe katibay na kalaban. In the, in the band. Itumba, that's a key turn that we have to put out here. Energy, yes you're the defending champion. Pilipos, um, Nibtumba, to feel his been early, goes to the body that time also does have that ability to switch. Mm -hmm. So let's see if he does change. Go back to the Okada Manila Grand Ballroom as we take a look at some of the highlights. He does attack. Champion though. Uh, so far, Ngitumbo the one pushing for Pressing forward because the thing about pressure fighter, that's correct, because he feels that Inside, he has the advantage because of Darren Dar Riel's way of punching, which is a wide shot. Come. Casimero again. I believe that's what John Riel was looking for. And that body shot. And I think it's it's a similar fashion that that um, another African fighter that uh, fought John Riel this round. And Casimero's style and punches, it's a dangerous territory. him he's finding that distance so he can throw and unload that that right of uh overhand well look at coming up on a minute and a half remaining in round number four casimero look i was actually gonna... uh casimero is doing a great job oh setting up again with the jab and an overhand to land gonna do that chopping right i think this is a really good uh look for casimero some of the highlights and shots, but he was actually setting up his big shot behind the jab. Bait. Again, body, body, you can hear it from a mile away. Those shots you can hear from Rojas Boulevard. Oh, flush shot. John Real Casimero. Defending champion, answer back with a 1 2 or a 1 2 3. Oh, nice! Oh, overhand. Oh, overhand. Yes. That's exactly what Casimero has been waiting for. Oh! Casimero! Oh, yes. 
work in that round. And they get away with the oh! oh! no. oh! he went out. He's Tumbo, Tumbo is down Tumbo on the down. mat. Getting counted. His legs are wobbling. Is he going to come towards the, the, the ref? And the defending champion has been knocked down. Casemiro. They're allowing it to go. Casemiro Cas going in for the kill. Casemiro going for the kill. He's trying to get the distance to be able to hit him. Tumbo was Tumbo's out. covering up. Trying to hit him with that. He's trying to save his save the fire hit shot. Oh, look at him. Look at He's him. Reaching. Almost out on his feet. Almost out on his feet. To react. And then wherever that opening is, take it. Another big shot. Oh, now Tumbo's about to go down. Tumero has to capitalize here. A minute remaining. There's Let's go. John Rail. His corner is yelling. The defending champion looking to stay on his feet. His legs are locking out, though. His balance is... All right, Nanita, walk us through the sequence. Let me get up from that. How long or how short is the recovery time when you get hit by a bomb like that? Especially coming from Casemiro with a heavy hand. I was surprised he was able to... Second warning, round number seven. Casemiro. <laughs> Look at him push towards the ropes. No needle. Oh. Yeah. Oh! Oh! We were talking off the air. No need to racial. How lucky can you get? Towards the end, another rocking combination by Casimero. And he was able. He needs to play behind that jab like he has to set up the. Casimero. But take a really big deep breath. Yes. And again, another <laughs> fight tape on him. And it was actually quite difficult. Mm, yeah. Like I said, once he throws that jab and he can touch you, he knows that that right hand. Now, does will Casimero treat that as poking the bear? I was going to ask that. And people that when they get mad, it starts, it gives them more laser focus. Surprised by it. John Real trying to throw bombs. Natumbo is, is answering back with small shots. It is one more round between Ultimate Boxing Glory and Defeat Puncher's Chance. 100%. The defending champion still looking spry. Oh, oh. 10 seconds in the final round. Rules that a slip. 